Hello again. This is my How I Made My Iron Man Suit wearable video series. This is going to be part six, and we're going to jump right in to the midsection and the thighs today. Uh, now, first thing I want to talk about with the ab section are these suspenders. Now, these were not um, part of the original costume when I first made it and wore it to my first con. Uh, these were something that I figured out that I needed after I had worn it once and that's going to happen um, so keep that in mind but these were a necessity to this suit I didn't originally think that they were because the way that this section fits on my body it snugs right above the hips uh, very well so I didn't think that it would slide down but it's also connected to the thighs and walking around uh, up and down stairs um, or all around the con floor and, and such um, that made it work its way down just from movement of the body. So the suspenders uh, became a necessary thing because that I, I think maybe halfway through the day you were able to see um, my back between the back section like the the upper body section and the lower body section not so much the front the front um, issue without having the suspenders was this top part kept coming out from underneath the suit so um, once I added the suspenders that all that went away it holds the uh, midsection up perfectly and that was that. So I would highly recommend adding some sort of suspenders to your midsection if you were to do it this way. Now the uh, the Mark 43 suit that I, I I keep talking about, and there's another video of that on uh, the my YouTube channel where I post these. So if you can if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome. But uh, for that ab section. That was all attached to a t-shirt that I zipped up in the back. Uh, so that's where the seam was for that ab section. And that worked pretty well. Uh, the only problem was that was, you know, it had sleeves. So it, it, um, it was kind of constricting. Now, uh, when I made those, that ab section, I made all the abs separate pieces all the way around and they attached on the back. Now they were, they were glued to certain parts of the shirt, but the shirt the shirt was kind of stretchy, so I was able to move my abs, you know, a little bit more. I was able to sit down a little bit easier. On this suit, um, I made it all, you know, a relatively one solid piece. It's actually two. Um, the abs are all uh, Velcro attached on either side. And that wasn't any kind of like necessary design feature, but I just I just did it because it was easier to put it on. Uh, I really only needed to do it on one side, down where the seam is. I didn't need to do it on both sides. I just ended up doing it. Uh, it's easier to pack up when I'm uh, traveling, you know, from con to con or or whatever. Um, just made life a little bit easier. That, but it's not really necessary. Uh, but having the Velcro on at least one side where you can attach it somewhere inconspicuous. Again, I did it right on the front, um, but it's you know hard to tell for the most part. Uh, the other bit of design or major design part to this is it Velcro's in the front on the cod piece. Now this is extremely crucial if you're cosplaying as an Iron Man. Um, or some type of suit like this because it allows me to go to the bathroom and that's pretty necessary um uh, you know unfortunately as as it is you'd have to go to the bathroom eventually um at least you know in at least one case i can go to the bathroom quickly but the way that that works is uh the abs velcro you know down the side here but it continues down right um, around the belly button area and that's how you know it separates so that you can actually put it on and take it off but the cod piece right below that 
is attached with Velcro. And there's another piece of Velcro on the bottom here. Uh, you may not be able to see, I'm, I'm not sure, but that actually attaches to a piece of Velcro that's on the undersuit that I wear. And that undersuit I'll talk about in another video and you'll see how I'm able to go to the bathroom through that. But back to this, um, the Velcro is just on the top here and that Velcro's back to the cod piece or to the ab section and you know it's kind of a seam in the design of the suit that I tried to work with uh, the seam that's right in the middle here that's not so much part of the, the suit but this line here um, I tried to match with the actual design of the suit so that's that um, there's really not much else to talk about there there is a piece of wire ribbing on the top of the abs and on the top of the lower back here in the very back and that's just to give the top sections that a little bit of structure um, wasn't entirely necessary it was just kind of a little bit of extra that I did just so it wouldn't flap over but uh, it was helpful in the end now moving from there to the thighs how I attach them to or, or how I attach the abs to the thighs was in the actual images and 3D models of the suit on the hips um, or on the thighs here he has two pistons that are kind of in like a V shape and uh, I wanted to use those as a, a functional piece and that's what I did I 3D printed those um, and you don't have to 3D print these particular things. Any kind of cylinder would do. But I used elastic string, ran it through my 3D printed parts, and attached a um, buckle to those. So that's actually, actually how they buckle to the thighs. Uh, let me put this down so I could talk about that in a second. But back to these parts. Yeah, so it's just piece of elastic string ran through each one of these parts and that became a functional piece it actually holds up the thighs and that's the only thing that holds up the thighs so jumping to the thigh pieces here these are just basically a sleeve much like the forearm there's no ribbing or anything in these parts this is just you know follow the pep file um, and that's it you know they just they slip on and that's it but uh, on the top here on the front that's where I have the buckle hidden on the side here just for an added feature I made pockets on either hip to uh, one fits my wallet perfectly and the other fits my phone and there's a bit of elastic here to help kind of secure them and they were fairly hidden um, so like if somebody wanted to try and grab at it, uh, they would really have to get inside me and I would feel that and know that. But, you know, that didn't really uh, become necessary. But um, another part of this, there is a 3D printed piece in this. On this silver section here, there was a little honeycomb vent and I just 3D printed that to just add a little bit to it. Uh, the other thing, is on the back here this is the light that I keep talking about now I don't have these lights in here but it was just a pen flashlight pen shaped flashlight it takes two AA batteries and um, just shows you know right above the back of the knee and that's that and the other side is identical um, and they just buckle into these little parts here and that's how that whole section holds itself together. And that's that. Okay. Thanks for watching.